Welcome to The Federer. What's going on? All right, so today in the Feather Ride, we are going to talk about my alma mater, the Liberty University Flames. And um, the, the head honcho of Liberty University, which is, who is? Jerry Falwell and all the craziness that is going on with the situation. So um, I'll, you know, let you get into all the Googling and all that as far as what's going on with him. The skinny version is. Um, there's been pictures of him. There was a picture of him with another female uh, with his pants uh, unzipped and all that. Um, he said it was a joke, which you don't want to do that. Um, saying it's a joke doesn't uh, remove the fact that you should be focusing on your witness as a Christian, that should be a, your premier thing, uh, your witness. Um, let your light so shine uh, before men so that they may see your works and glorify the Father in heaven. And so, your witness is so important as a Christian. Um, so recently, uh, there was some stuff, uh, there was a business partner of his, kind of spilled the beans, so they, uh, I'm just giving you the skinny version because this is, that's not necessarily the heart of where I want to go, uh, but uh, it, it is an intro of where I want to take this feather ride. So, uh, business partner spilled the beans, uh, he was, uh, Jerry was watching, according to him, Jerry Falwell was watching. They, they became business partners. They the, he had a weird, intimate relationship with the um, with the group, uh, with the couple, in the in the way of um, him having sex with Jerry Falwell's wife um, and Falwell watching and that happened numerous times this is according to uh the reports of the the person uh the business partner so um Falwell apologizes um there was a there's conflicting reports one report said that he was going to step down um Another report, uh, and a more updated report, said uh, him saying, "No, I'm not. I'm not stepping down. I apologized, and um, you know, I'm not going to. Basically, I'm not going to uh, leave something I've built on what my wife did. So, ooh, that's uh, not. Uh, it's not very humbling. Uh, I think with all the craziness that's going on in his life now, personally speaking." Um, I do believe that Falwell should uh, should step down, at least temporarily. He, he needs to really get into a point where he is um, just really in a state of uh, humility. Um, the Bible uh, tells us to, to humble ourselves and... Um, look, man, look, either hum humble yourself or be humble. Simple as that. I mean, there's been, you know, countless amount of stories of um, God humbling people. God will humble you. You hear me? He will humble you. 
We did that with Israel countless amount of times. Um, you know, uh, you know. I'm thinking about judges with uh, uh, JL, JL and Cicero, right? So, um, you know, just all of the particular um, oppositions that um, Israel dealt with during Judges and JL, man, you know, she's a, talk about a ride or die, man, I, I mean, uh, JL is one of my favorite female characters uh, uh, in the Bible, characters meaning reading it, but people as in, um, you know, she's a person, she's a female, and so, uh, yeah, yeah, ride or die, man, so, um, you will be humbled, God will use somebody to humble you, or he will humble you yourself, uh, you know, case in point, uh, the fall, case in point, the flood, <laughs> you know, like, time after time, um, so yeah, I mean, it's, it's one of those things that I would I would rather humble myself than be humbled by God because God is very patient. Uh, the Bible says He's slow to anger, uh, and so I think that we need to get to the point where it's okay to just swallow your pride and not be okay at times. That's why accountability is so important that's where I want to go is accountability um, listen it don't matter what rank you're at it don't matter where you are um, get you some accountability get you some accountability Jesus and Jonathan David and Nathan I mean, the list goes on and on and on as far as just accountability. Even Samuel and Saul to an extent. And I mean, it's just, it's so important for someone to be in your corner. Listen, and it, look, it doesn't necessarily have to be someone who's always like got a magnifying glass over your life, but someone who's in your corner, someone who will... Who, who, who's one of your biggest cheerleaders and loves you so much and really has a burning passion for you to win. I mean, that's that's the thing. Someone who really has a burning passion for you to win. Now, if they keep um, knocking the legs you stand on, that's not accountability. That's just, you're just knowing people who are just being critics. And that's not necessarily edifying. Um, but yeah, I mean, look, and, and just be, look, be around someone who wants you to win. And when they want you to win, they'll tell you things that isn't necessarily, you know, pleasing to the ear, but at the same time, it's polished so well because you know them, because you know their heart, because you know that they love you. Um... The blow is, isn't, as, isn't as bad a lot of times because you know they want you to win. And that's the that's the approach and that's the vantage point that they want you to have. And some people are even scared to have that or, or too prideful is what, is what, you know, it could be out of fear. But pride is definitely one of the biggest roots out of people who don't want to have people in their lives who are accountable for them, who will cheer them on, want to see them win, question them about things, challenge them about things, um, ask questions like, what do you, you know, what do you think about this? Like what, you said this, you know, why, why, why do you, how do you think that this is uh, being a suitable witness? How do you think this is uh, helping your witness? Do you think that this is, uh, this, this could be compromising your witness to people? You might want to take that down. You might want to step down. You might you might want to do this because you know this isn't really being a good witness. I'm speaking with with you know from, from Christians because you know Jerry Falwell is a Christian. Look, you gotta get people who 
is in your corner. Galatians 6 talks about that, right? It talks about um, uh, restoring, man. If, 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 so, if anyone be in fault, if, 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 you know, um, let who, he who is mature restore that that person, right? Um, and then, you know, I think in verse 3, it talks about, uh, verse 3 or 4, I think 3, talks about, uh, you know, don't, don't think of yourself highly than, than who you are. So that's a, that's a humbling, you know, verse two. Um, and it, and it's just, you know, just stay humble, man. It, it, look, if you're amidst all these allegations and, and, and stuff and you admit it to them, you gotta, you know, there's a picture of you with your pants down and stuff on social media or on pants unzip. Come on, man. Take some time. Relax. Say, look, I'm gonna take me a sabbatical. Like I'm, I'm gonna sit down somewhere. I need to, I need to restore myself. Shout out to Lecrae, first of all, with, with the restoration journey and restore me. I was checking a little bit out of uh, checking a little bit of his uh, interview on the Breakfast Club. I have to finish it up. But I, I'm loving what I'm seeing, man. Uh, I got a video on Lecrae. Uh, I got a feather right on Lecrae. Check that out. But uh, look, sit down. Go on a restoration journey. Look, you're a president of a of the of I believe the largest uh, uh, Christian university in America, at least. And you have a you have an even bigger uh, shoes to fill representing uh, Christianity as a president of a Christian university, the largest, I believe, or at least one of the largest Christian universities in America. And I've been to Liberty. The place is huge. And come on, man. You gotta, you, you gotta be humble, man. Look, Luke uh, 17, three, you know, talks about accountability too, man. Pay attention to yourselves. Look, if someone sins, rebuke them. <laughs> if someone repents, forgive them. And that is really the model that we should have as, as believers when it comes to um, just really checking error, checking sin, and uh, keeping each other and sharpening each other. You know, what's Proverbs 27, right? Uh, iron sharpen iron. So, shall a man sharpen the countenance of his friend. So, we got to keep each other accountable, man. And uh, at the end of the day, Christ is what matters. Christ is the light. Christ is who we live for, right? You know, the Bible talks, I mean, as Christians, we live for, for God. It's in, it's in you, it's in God. I live and move and have my being. And and it's just so important for us not to kind of create our own web that takes us away from just a genuine, transparent um, relationship with God in our witness. It goes back to Matthew 5, 17. Our witness, our witness is an extension of our worship. Ooh, somebody catch that. Our witness is an extension of our worship. Come on, Holy Spirit. Our witness is an extension of our worship. And we have to, it is imperative for us as Christians to quit playing, man. Quit playing. Look, we have bad days. We fall and we mess up. <laughs> we mess up. We're having thoughts and images and stuff like that. You better tell that to somebody. You better, you better let them. Uh, uh, you better get that out of you. You better get yourself together, man. Get that stuff out of you. And don't be trying to save face like Saul did. Saul saved face, and guess what happened to him? He got booted! God booted him! 
He tried to save face. He got booted. God said, nah. You are revoked <laughs> from your position as king, sir. You're booted. Mm, come on. Our witness is an extension of our worship. I want y'all to get that. All right. And Jerry Falwell, listen, get you some accountability. Get you someone who, look, I don't care what rank you are. And I would even say, if, as a Christian, from an even bigger platform, for me, that's an even bigger responsibility. As a president of a Christian university, that is your witness, man. That is your witness. Look, if if you are, look, if you're to the point of like, man, you know what? I, I you know, I, I jacked up a few times. I, that ain't right. That don't that don't represent God in one iota. I'm gonna step down for a little bit. I'm gonna have an uh, interim, you know, uh, president for 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 a while for for a season. I'm gonna sit down. I, I need to get myself together. Listen, that's integrity. That's that's integrity. I'm not trying to save face and say, yeah, I apologize. I'm good. Nah, bro, look. Get yourself together, man. And this is coming from someone who graduated from Liberty University. I got my master's degree in theological studies in 2013 from Liberty University. I am a I am an alma, I'm an alumnus. That is my alma mater. I'm a Liberty graduate. So this is someone who um, who's a Liberty alum saying this stuff. So it's 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 you know, I feel it from an even deeper standpoint as an alumni, as an alumnus. So, look, man, um, nobody, I don't care if you're the president of the daggone United States of America, nobody is above accountability. Nobody is above getting rebuked. Nobody. And so it's much better to get yourself some people in your corner, some Christians in your corner that are sharpen you, than to be humbled by the the CPO, that's what I call it, the court of public opinion. Look, you better have someone, look, <laughs> you better have a representing attorney called, called an accountability partner that tell you what to do or say and help you out. <laughs> <laughs> before you get to that CPO because uh, if you ain't got a good rep, uh, uh, represent uh, representative uh, named an accountability partner that's sharpen you up the CPO gonna be sure to have their fair share of opinions toward you okay now sometimes you know, you got the SJWs and the CPO that are just say stuff just to say it. And that's cool, you know. But if you if you walking upright, if you got things together, if, 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 if you know that God has pleased you according to not your standards, but his standards, which is the word of God. If, if you know that you, you're good to go, what, what people say about you, that's a, that's a whole different story. But if you know you jacking up, if you know you walking the sin, you ain't got nobody account, uh, you know, keeping you accountable, and you know you, uh, you know you acting up, bro. If you know you acting up, you ain't got a leg to stand on when it comes to CPO. You ain't got a leg to stand on. So it's really important, man. I, I really think it's important to make sure that your witness is an extension of your worship. And everybody as Christians, we need to make sure that our witness is together. This uh, looks, listen, I don't care what it is. Interviews, social media posts, interactions with other people uh, physically. I don't care what it is, man. Represent Christ. Everything you do, do it for the glory of the Lord Colossians 3 talks about. Do it. 
represent him, y'all. And if there's, look, we got bad days, we wake up, we tired, we mad, we angry. Our spouse got our nerves, our friend got our nerves, school got our nerves, work got our nerves. Like, we have those days. Come on, y'all, we know that. We know that. But that definitely should not be a glaring percentage. Uh, and that shouldn't affect your witness either. Um, if you're having a bad day, look, sit down somewhere. Tell somebody. Get some advice. Get some encouragement. And let somebody know, man. So, uh, fall well, man. Listen. Get you some accountability, man. Represent Christ. Allow you allow your witness to be extension of your worship. All right. Love you, man. And I'm praying for you. I'm praying for Jerry Falwell. Christians do that. Pray for Jerry Falwell. Keep him accountable as a brother in Christ. And pray for him too, y'all. Alright? Restore him. Restore him. Um it's, 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 it's both ways, man. Restore them. Christians. Rebuke them. You know, it's, it's, uh, you know, like I said, Luke 17. Three. Rebuke them. Restore them. Pray for them. Keep them accountable. Simple as that. Rebuke them. Rebuke them restore them. Keep them accountable. And, um, just... And we can restore and pray for him and keep him accountable. So, make the right decision. Um, if anything, Jerry, have a speech about it, man. This just really, you know, confess your faults one to another, James 3 says. And pray for one another so that you may be healed. If you ain't, if, if, if you thinking, if you're saying oh, everything okay and you're making this facade that you ain't slipping, I ain't going to pray for you if you ain't slipping. I'm, as, as far as that particular thing, I'm going to pray for you regardless. But look, if I'm going to pray, I'm going to thank, I'm going to thank God that you doing all right and things are a-okay. <laughs> I ain't praying for. Uh, some some slip up you got in your life because you ain't letting me know. I don't know. I don't know about it unless unless uh, you know the Holy Spirit speaks to me prophetically and I'm you know I'm like hey man you <laughs> you acting up. But pray for them, rebuke them, restore them, pray for them, keep them accountable. So. Be sure to like, share, subscribe. Let your witness be an extension of your worship. And always remember. Always remember. <laughs> Come on, somebody. God is still on the throne. Hey!